just met Missy Pyle. Missy Pyle. Ah! Said you probably have seen her in Anchorman, Gone Girl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Dodgeball, the girl with the big unibrow and the mole. Um, she invited me over to her home. So now I'm in Missy's house. Just left Missy Pyle's house. <laughs> so random. On her day off of filming, uh, just to talk about acting. So I got to meet her little daughter who's so sweet. And uh, yeah, we just sat at her table. She made us tea and snacks and she just tried to give me some advice the best that she could. Um, obviously she does a lot of comedy and she kind of made a point because she's so tall, she's almost six feet. She would rarely get cast in like um, a romantic comedy or a drama, but she is trying to move into more dramas and that's why she's here in Toronto. She's uh, filming a YouTube Red series called Impulse, uh, which is wrapping up in a couple days. So I'm glad that I actually got an opportunity to speak with her. Um, that should be coming out in May, so keep your eyes peeled. I think the highlight obviously was meeting Missy, but the fact that she watched my latest vlog, which was uh, Baz Luhrmann musical montage. Here he comes, yeah he caught my eye, and we made love to the moonlight. Just go where the wind blows, those crazy nights, the city lights, the way you play. And then I ended with a monologue. Um, so she was like, oh, where's that monologue from? And I was telling her uh, a woman under the influence. And I was talking to her, I'm like, oh, I'm not very good at comedy. But she's like, actually, that monologue was quite funny in a way. You're nothing but a tiny, tiny, teeny, squidgy little book. but also of course really heartbreaking. She watched my Baz tape and she said that I was talented which pretty pumped about that. <laughs> Ego boosted for the day! I thought was a positive <laughs> to take away. Um, so I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. It was really interesting although like if you go on her IMDb she has almost like 200 credits on there. Um, when this project she's shooting in Toronto wraps up she doesn't have another job lined up so you know no matter how big you are like you're always kind of looking for the next job with acting it's very unpredictable and you don't know when your next casting is going to be or audition or yeah next project so you just kind of have to keep keep working on your craft another thing she mentioned obviously she's been in the industry for so long uh similar to music you know in the last decade people are just downloading music um and well obviously there's spotify and apple music now but even with television, like it's just becoming so saturated. There's so many TV series out there. Um, and with Netflix, it's just like it's one after the other. And she kind of thought like television being saturated, wages are also going down. Another point that she made that my agency also uh, mentioned to me before Christmas was that they're just really not casting that many Caucasians at the moment. Um, obviously you want to cover all ethnicities, but even t Missy was telling me a friend of hers wants to get into her agency and her agent was like, oh, what uh, ethnic background is she? And uh, she's like, oh, she's Caucasian. And they're like, no, sorry. Like we're not taking on any more Caucasians. <laughs> so that's um, another point to take into consideration. She's super humble. Um, she was like, yeah, I just had to uh, go back to LA last week for something and I was like, to host the Golden Globes? Um, and she's like, yeah, I have a few things coming up this year. It's just like all feature films and like amazing projects. I asked her, I was like, what show or what project would you love to be a part of? And she said, Stranger Things, maybe as like a villain. So we'll see. The main point I took away from our chat was that you really just need to stay focused and decide what you want, exactly what you want, um, and just ask the universe for it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but I do. I think it's important to manifest what you want in your life. So that's my plan. Such a lovely day, and um, she even gave me her contact details if I ever have any questions or need anything. And on that note, I'm off to work. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is so... Hi!
Hey guys, it's your good friend Missy Pyle here. Don't forget to subscribe to Chevy Bolts on YouTube.